Hey guys, alright, so this is the um, promised screencast for the telemetry dashboard. Um, I don't think we have it on our our main page yet, but we will get it there shortly. So I will email the link. It's telemetry histogram. So what we have here is a dashboard, a prototype dashboard that's showing, uh, that gives you the ability to visualize all of the data that's currently flowing through the telemetry uh, metrics collection process. Um, up at the top, we can select and filter the date range for what we want to look at as far as when the documents, the, the telemetry data was submitted. There's a variety of filters on the left that you can use to, to select a particular architecture or operating system. The application build ID in particular is important. We'll be changing it soon to ha select a range of um, build IDs and you can actually, you'll be able to select two different ranges of build IDs such that you can compare range A to range B. That will be important if a developer uh, checks in a fix for a particular um, problem that you can see through histogram stats. Let's say that the cycle collector is very slow for some people and you see it uh, happening, um, you see a, a, an increase in the amount of people over here, after he checks that fix in, you can select a, a range of build IDs after the fix and a range of build IDs before the fix and see a comparison of the two for proof whether the, the fix has, has, the, has had the desired effect. There are several different um, simple measures that uh, at the moment we're not um, displaying all of them, but it, we currently take an average measurement. We'll shortly be changing that to a measurement that is um, uh, showing percentiles and such. Down at the bottom we have the number of submissions per day. You can see that because of the beta release we've had significantly more uh, submissions in the past few days. So if we go and select a operating system Linux we'll get a smaller subset. You'll notice that instead of saying it's a statistical measure it's now a complete measure. So for this date range we have 5,332 uh, 5, submissions in total and you can see what the what the values are for the simple measures and you can also see a list of all of the um, all of the histograms that were available for these submissions so this query will take a few moments the the hardware is is not production quality hardware for the analysis dashboard um, it's still staging but it will eventually be uh, improved and I managed to select a uh, measure that is not in Linux, so it did not show up and it show anything. So we can see for some reason the the submissions are declining for um, for Linux um, with for for Linux over time. That's something interesting. I, I don't know what the situation is there. Um, the dashboard is is actively being improved. We've got several features that are in the pipeline to be developed in the next week, um, but feel free to check it out. The other thing that I wanted to show is a quick um, mock-up of um, a different way of looking at some of these measures, and that is based on percentiles. So we'll give this a moment to do the querying. In order to see this dashboard, you need to have an MPT VPN uh, connection enabled because this is actually querying a test server directly from your browser. So what we'll see is uh, the main startup time measurement. There's 32,000 document, or I'm sorry, three. Uh, 327,000 documents that, that have this measurement. If we hit load uh, percentiles, we'll see that 25% of the user base had a main startup time of 207 milliseconds or less, 50% of them had less than a second, and 75% of them uh, had 2.6 seconds. Um, we can also see all of the the percentiles for uh, for histograms. These are the sums. So we had 19,000 submissions with the hard page faults histogram. Uh, the histogram is submitted to us with a grand total sum 
value also, and that is what we're doing these percentiles for. So 50% uh, of the 20,000 documents had a grand total sum of 15 uh, hard page faults within a particular time frame. Um, looking at some of the um, time spent issues, let's see this one, 25% uh, had 181 milliseconds or less for sub-DNS lookup time uh, versus a second versus almost four seconds for the 75th percentile. So we're looking at being able to incorporate this type of view into the dashboard as well, something that can give you percentiles, which is a much easier way of um, evaluating the the results of of the data rather than these long uh, these histogram curves that tend to always bunch up at the very bottom. So let Taurus know if you have technical questions, if you have feature requests, or want to keep track of the dashboard. Feel free to drop by Pound Metrics or email us at metrics at mozilla.com. Thanks.